What's up, guys? Baron here. I'm going to go over a guide, a very dirty and quick guide, on how to set up an amazing new tool. Wantu has taken a uh, program that was made for other communities like Smash communities, and it was a great tool for hosting tournaments and just if you're you know doing some type of event. And he's turned it into a Warcraft tool as well. The screen you're looking at right now, made by Wantu. For GNL specifically. But I'm going to go over on how to set this up. It's going to be the very basics. Okay. Um, and in the end, you'll be able to make a screen like this. You'll be able to make a screen like this with just a little bit of creativity. Okay. So let's get into it. So, first thing first, you need to download the program. Um, check the description below. I'll put all the links you need to how to and where to download it. Once you download it um, and you open it up, it's called the Sto uh, Tournament Stream Helper. All right. And this is what it should look like. Now, obviously, none of this is going to be filled in. This is the information you need to have filled in to show you that prior screen. So let's just clear everything out. We'll pretend like it's from the start. All right. So once you open it up, you should see something like this. Now, when Wantu downloaded it, he said he saw the scoreboard. When I downloaded it, the scoreboard wasn't there. So, first thing first, if you don't have the scoreboard, go to Toggle Widgets, and there's a little option to get the scoreboard open. From this, you can pretty much do everything. Next, go here, Download Assets. Now, go up here. Put it in Warcraft 3. And all of this will show up. You need to just select each one, right? And hit download. Download that, download that, download that, download that. When you're done, you'll see the check marks, meaning you're done. Once you get it all done, get out of this and go back to the scoreboard. First thing you do, go up to this box and type in Warcraft 3. That'll load everything up. Nothing really works unless you do that. Now, here, you can fill in the two players' names. Now, I'm just going to do AKM and Jalen because I already had those, AKM and Jabba. The great thing about this program is if you put in AKM, which is what I had been labeled as, it'll fill everything else in that was prior there as long as you save the player once you put it in. Same over on this side. You can put in Jalen. That's what I had for Jabba, let's say, and it'll save it on your computer. Now, you can see it over here and down here, you can pick the player's race. And on this side, this represents the different hero combinations and unit combinations that you can select each person. Once you have it set up, you'll uh, be able to see in your sources on your Streamlabs or OBS or whatever you're using that you'll be able to see the various different hero combinations. Now, it's not just this. You should also go to the stage. And I already had this set up. You saw that previously. But basically what happens is, if you have this selected up here, Warcraft 3, it'll load all the maps, OK? Most of the maps. You take the three maps that were picked by the players, or I guess if you're doing a best of five, you can put in five over there. Right. Once you're done with that, you want to hit this link down here. It'll go to something like this. Okay. Now I already did this. If I hit reset, let's say, you just hit randomize. You got to hit randomize. Okay. That's all you got to do. That's it. Now that's the basics for this. You can update the scores right here. You can make it 1-0, 2-0, 3-0, 3-1, whatever. The phase you can put in, they, they have things, you know, that's already set up. But you can also put in things like GNL Week 3, for example. Down here, you can literally pick any place in the world you want. AKM, obviously, from one of the Koreas. And we got Jabba over here. And with that, you can do amazing things again. Like this screen. You can see here, I switched it earlier. When I put in the one, it became a paladin. 
but if I go to the zero, show that real quick. If I go to zero, right? Well, I don't even know what hero that is. All right, it's an arc mage. But if I switch it to two, blood law, blood mage. And for Jabba, you can switch it. You know, you got the keeper now. If I switch his race, which I don't think he'd be happy about, but if I went to undead, again, you can just easily switch this. There's a few options all set up I want to. Now, if it comes to it that, let's say, it's time, you got to change things. Maybe I'm playing versus AKM now. So let's switch it. I haven't set my own name up yet, so we should probably do that. I don't really want to put my own name, a real name. Maybe I'll just put Baron in there. I have a Twitter. I hope I remember it. And I'm not from Malaysia. It's just, you know, be somewhere fun. Yemen. Although it's not true, but you can find really anything on this whole list. Okay, so somewhere in there. Easy enough. Hit you to go to the United States. You can also pick the state for things like United States. You know, if I just hit N, scroll down a little bit. I missed it. New Jersey. All right. And then, of course, I'm undead. So I'm going to want to save this. This way, the next time. I'm playing on stream or someone's playing on stream, whoever it is, you just put in save new player and you're done. And with that, it should pop up later once you set up your sources. Let's see. Now you can see it. Baron. My name is Baron again, but you can put whatever, you know, the person's real name if they want. And I'm more known not as a DK player, but as a Lich player. So I'll even update that too. You can even hit update player again, and it's going to save the fact that I like to have a Lich, Ghoul, and Guard as my characters. And you can see over in the middle, it shows where I am located, United States. While I am, he's still over in Korea. And from this screen, as I was saying earlier, I can update the scores, go up, go down. It shows the maps as well. Those are easy enough to change if you just go into the stage and update it. And you're done. That's pretty much it on the actual page. Now you got to set up Streamlabs or Ops or whatever else you're using. So to do that, you're going to have to do a few things. One quick thing that I forgot to mention earlier is you need to edit one file in order for the animated screens to work. You need to go into the tournament stream helper folder. You're going to go to layout. You're going to go into the versus screen and you're going to look for the JavaScript index file. You're going to want to open that up with Notepad. Once you open it up, you'll see something like this. The part that I have highlighted won't be there. That's what you have to put in. Originally, where it says WebP, it should and it would say full. Change the full to WebP and then save the index file. All right, so I'm going to show you how to set up a page to look like this in your own uh, stream. I use Streamlabs, and you can see all the options and everything I've set up right here. And to do it in Streamlabs, at least, and I'm sure it's just as easy in other um, streaming platforms, you just need to set up three browser sources. Let's look at this one first versus screen, label it whatever you want, but you're going to add a browser source, right? And this is what it's going to show you in the end. That's what we were playing with earlier. Um, you're not going to see this on the end result because I decided to cut it out. But basically to set it up, make a browser source, go to local file, select local file, then you got to go into your computer and you're going to be looking for a certain file. Go into the tournament stream helper file, go to layout, the versus screen. All right, and then when you're in the versus, versus screen, go to index.html and select it, okay? Then it's all about where you want to place it. We'll, we'll talk about a little bit later. Next, it's the maps. These are, well, as you can see, not the maps in game, but the maps where the players reside. Again, you're going to go to a local file, make a different browser source, I should say, hit local file, and then you're going to find this file. 
You're going to go into the tournament stream helper file. You're going to go into the sub uh, folder layout. From there, go to map. And then you're going to look for this right here. Map, no HUD. Okay? You're going to open that. Next, this one for the maps. Okay? You're going to go to browse. You're going to, again, another browser source, hit local file. You're going to go into your computer. Again, the tournament stream helper. Go to layout. Go to stage strikes for the index folder or file. You're going to select that. You're going to open it. Once you're done, it'll look a little something like this. Okay, now obviously you got to place these where you want. I made the uh, characters and AKM and Baron on the sides. I cut off the top, as I said earlier. To do that with Streamlabs, it's pretty easy. You just hold the Alt and you can, you can edit that part out. That was just my choice. And then for the map, I decided to put it in the middle. I know want to. Uh, he made his a little bit different. He added a little screen where you could see what's happening in Warcraft 3 itself. I chose not to do that now, but you know you can move this wherever you want. I put it in the middle. And then the maps, this is to show what maps are coming up. I decided to put it up here. Now, it does just come with a black screen uh, for a background. You might have to get creative yourself. Want to again saved our butts, and you can see here on the sides, Dim Newbie League with the rainbow because this season we got the rainbow as a background. So, whatever uh, league you're in or whatever organization or stream you're doing, you might have to get a little bit creative, think of a different background for yourselves, or maybe talk with the admins of whatever tournament it is and see if they have something. This is Something we made for GNL, well, not we, Wantu made this for GNL, and uh, we've edited a little bit to fit with the new format. Now, in order to do this, you need to add two options or two browser sources, I should say, in here. One is what we already added, which is the maps. Again, you're going to just look for it. You go to the tournament helper, layout, stage strike. You're going to find index. That's that. And then it's just about where you want to place it. And then there is this cool um, scoreboard at the top. Again, you don't have to use this. This is just something we felt to use. So again, you're going to go into look into the files, tournament helper layout, scoreboard, scoreboard artistic index. You're going to open that. In the end, it should again look like this. And it's easy enough if you go back with this open, I can easily switch it so it shows 1-0, whatever else I want. So it's pretty easy. As you can see, I'm just playing with it. And if I really wanted to, I could switch Baron back to Java. There you go. It'll update there. It'll update there. Extremely, extremely easy. So I just want to end by saying thank you to Wantu for setting this up. This tool is amazing. It's going to help all the leagues, any league really, or any streamer. You don't even have to be part of the league. Any streamer in the Warcraft 3 community that wants to look a little bit more professional or have a few more interesting, cool things they can do with their stream. You should definitely check this out. You should definitely download it and at least give it a try. Thanks.